you know, to show people where Cody and shit came from. Metro City, a well-known crime capital, has been a, a fact which many knew that mayor and former street fighter Mike Hagar plans to change. At the center of the problem is the huge gang known as Mad Gear. Mad Gear controls all the major crime activity in the city. When they learned of Hagar's plans, they took immediate action to bring this new mayor under their control. Sometime in the 90s. <laughs> Mike Hagar, so pleased to make your acquaintance. I believe you know who I am. Don't hang up. We have a little business proposition for you. Your daughter for your... And we'll throw in your regular monthly bonus to your salary off before. What happened to Jessica? Who is this? Not so fast, Mike. Turn on your TV. How do they have this going? You son of a... What have you done? Nothing yet, but we'd enjoy the opportunity. Listen to reason, man. Why make your job difficult? Please let us... Uh, just let us do as we please. Guy, Jessica, who was kidnapped. Jessica, my sweet childhood, my sweetheart since childhood. The Mad Gears must pay. She's my friend too. Count me in. So that's Cody for all those people who are wondering who Cody is. See, that's the guy. That's the mayor, a current mayor. This is the former mayor, and this guy's just a street fighter slash ninja. Wow, five foot nine, five foot eight, and let's go, Hagar. I like how Hagar just fucking greets everyone with open arms. God, I love this in the arcade back in the day. Oh, Fedora. Turkey! Seriously. Would you eat a fucking full turkey coming out of a trash can? Because that just sounds like so hot, unhygienic. You want salmonella? Because that's oh, it's actually fully cooked, so it's probably not salmonella. But you're probably gonna get something. Fuck you. Move it, fat ass. I always wonder why they always have the fat guys wearing suspenders to keep their pants off. A good belt would be just as good. He'll get trash panda. Yes, yes he will. Meat. And if you recognize, these are Abigail's partners here. Hey, damn. Was his name Saddam? Saddam and other... No, that's the next guy. What was his name in the Super Nintendo port where they had to censor it? Just gonna suplex my way through this this city. That's the best way to do it. Hey, there's Roxy! You guys want Roxy? There she is! In fact, apparently she appears before Poison does. Unless we've already fought a chick. I don't think I have. Yeah, you just got suplexed, bitch. Who's Roxy Hart? I've never heard of Roxy Hart before. And there's Poison! Hell yeah! I love the fact that the Super Nintendo version had to turn them into men because Nintendo didn't want you beating up on women. I don't know who you're talking about at all. Oh. 
And there's Andore Jr. before Hugo, in fact. Bitch, I got a katana. <laughs> he just slaps it out of my hand. Like, nope, sorry. Your katana means nothing to me. I'll just... Don't throw out down the katana. I'll keep hitting him. This is Suplex City. Welcome to Metro City, where we pay our taxes in suplexes. Your taxes are paid. Your taxes are paid. Yours paid. Fuck you. Hollywood. Yeah, I usually play Cody because I like the um, average character or the balanced character more than the other ones. Because Guy's too fast, which means he does he has to hit more to actually do damage. And Hagar's too slow at times. But hey, we gotta love Hagar. Hagar is one of the best characters ever. He's a legend in his own right. This is Metro City. What do you mean Mega Mine? Does alcohol restore health? No, it does not. And there's no run button yet. You know, Mega Mind's kind of boring. It was a good movie, so so. Okay, it was a so so movie. Give me a banana. Ah, fuck me. It was smart, I'll give it that. But I didn't enjoy as much as I thought it would. Also, Aliens vs. Monsters I didn't like that much either. It was fun at times, but... I saw both in the theaters for the, those wondering. With my ex. Yes, Hagar has Suplex Galactus. And we have no problem with that. Hagar was also good friends with Zangief, and I don't understand why they don't bring that up more. That Hagar and Zangief were good friends, and that Zangief based some of his maneuvers on Hagar. Because Hagar was an old-school wrestler before Zangief became very popular. But who would win? Because Zangief wrestles bears, for fuck's sake. Bad Hollywood. And here's Saddam. Yeah, you're a cheating asshole. I always thought Saddam was cheap. And that proves that he's cheap as fuck. I also like the fact that in later games he set trades up his blades for a fucking size. At least in the Street Fighter series. Probably try to grab him during those. 
Or maybe I can't. Oh, my car. Bad car. Oh my god. Oh my god. I said oh my god, not oh my car. Holy shit. And here comes Easy E. The worst character in the series, in personal opinion. Surf, surf, surf. Give me that sword. And death to you. And death to you. Andore. So Hugo must be a bo actual boss. Don't sit on my face, ugly. <laughs> Honey, I'm home to get... I would love if the mayor just busted down the door to get drunk in a bar. That's just great. The mayor of the city just bust open the door to a bar to get... Yeah, that, that that's epic. Think about the implications of most of this shit. Wong Hu. Great name. Wong Hu. I'll take the lead pipe, thank you. Now that I've... Oh, come on! And yes, I remember... Someone told me that... If I remember correctly, one of my favorite shows, the, um... Nest Drunk, claims that the Gorbachev... There's G Dore and F Dore. Thinks that the Gorbachev thing is only if you beat the game on hard. I'm like, no, that's his normal ending on all difficulties. Yeah, yes it does, Trench. And if you want me to play with you, I will. <laughs> and we suplexed you to hell. Keep on going, baby! Yeah, here comes e uh, whatever his name is. Hey, Poison, what's up? Yeah. Fuck yeah, suplex the fuck out of Poison. Sadly, Jap uh, I gotta stop putting such an accent on Japan. Japan's anti-violence towards women policy currently is ruining certain old games. I'm not okay. Number one, violence towards women is never acceptable. 
At the same time, I do feel that if someone hits you, you have the right to hit them back, even if it is a woman. Equal rights, equal fights. But, Eddie E, this guy, fucking I hate him. Uh, but what I mean by the anti-violence against women policy is there were older games. This game was one of the ones that got hit by it. They asked when it came out, why are you hitting women? And so the creator said, no, they're transgender. That's why you're hitting them, which kind of makes it worse in modern society. But then there's old games like my favorite Final Fantasy VI. On the re-releases of Final Fantasy VI on other systems like the Game Boy Advance, they removed the part where... Celis is being tortured. She's still fucking a prisoner, but when you originally meet her, she's being tortured by her guards, where she's being punched and beat upon. They took that out because they didn't want to show violence against women. And that, I'm like, that kind of ruins the moment in the game, the fact that you're trying to save her from her captors. God damn it, easy, Eddie. I don't know why that this whole part brought that up, but yeah. Hell, violence against anyone's not acceptable. Simple as that. Unless they deserve it. I'm joking. Well, a lot of people aren't playing 5, as far as I know, Battlefield 5, because of... I don't know. I don't know if there's any balancing issues or not. I do know that people are pissed off about the historical changes. Like, it kind of dishonors a lot of the memory of people who actually served in World War II. Yeah, violence is if someone's trying to hurt you. Defensive violence would be the best term there. Or if you're trying to kill a wasp or a mosquito. That's also acceptable. <laughs> what? Yeah, but I wanted to change it so it's violence against everyone, not just violence against women, like most people say. And this is the level that was taken out of the Super Nintendo version because it just could not handle it. That too, Nazi punching's good. Violence against Nazis, that's fine. now there's all that debate about do video games make you violent so the creator of gta's pointed out that every country has video games you saw that guys right right please tell me someone saw that was it trump who said that japan doesn't have video games so they don't have so they don't have gun violence etc etc well the creator and a ceo of grant of rockstar games literally made a chart showing that in America is fourth in the world for playing video games. Fourth, but number one in the world for gun violence. In fact, it's pretty much the only place in the world with gun violence. So there's no correlation there, guys. And correlation still doesn't cause causation, period, but people should know that. It's kind of like everyone who brushes their teeth dies. Hey, look who it is, it's Hugo, finally. Oh, that's Andori. Ah. What's up, Trench? There's a lot of third world countries that play it, too. Very good point, but you, you're probably right about the first world. I always thought third world and shit meant poor, and I was actually wrong. All it does mean is that... Basically, first world means they have democracy, second world means they have communism, and third world means something, something other than that.
Yeah, but even then, video games don't really train you to actually be a violent person. You don't see me punching, Luna. Why well, saying just stop, Trenchbaum? What am I wrong? No, okay, okay, okay. What am I wrong about? The definition of first world is any country that has a democracy rule of law. That's what first world means. Second world means communism, rule of law. And third world is our nations that are not either first or second world. How am I wrong, Trenchbaum? Though originally the idea between first and second world was that first world were people who supported NATO and were against Soviet Union, while second world was Soviet Union. And yes, I have a master's degree. I don't have a master's degree in fucking pol politics or sociology. No, not sociology. Basically, politics. Yeah, everyone is wrong about something. I know nothing about mach army machinery or anything like that. I'm not wrong on everything, for fuck's sake, Trenchbound. But yeah, this is something I did look into for a while. Remember, my master's degree is computer science. I focused on computer science, specifically network administration and network building and uh, management. I also have a bachelor's in animation, but we already know that. Wikipedia, Trenchbound, and also Webster's. Very true. I will give you that that is condescending and arrogant. But the fact that the only reason why I brought it up was because Kaneko said, don't you mean first world? Or was it you who said that? And we still use the word third world countries all the goddamn time. We still use the word third world all the goddamn time. So how am I wrong? Oh, interesting. Now you... Bye-bye, Rolento. Yeah, we are normies. Are you in political science? I thought you were into biology. I literally thought you were a biologist, huh? Yeah, I know nothing. I'm not a sociologist. I'm not a political scientist. So, yes. Very interesting. I thought you were still a biologist. Thank you. But yeah, those definitions were not wrong, Han. So... I do see what you're saying about the condescending nature of such things, especially third world. 
after I found out such definitions, especially the fact, okay, the definitions changed in the 90s, those for the people who don't know. Those are the definitions that I learned back in college. Now, I'm actually kind of curious, Trench, what else am I wrong on? Besides military hardware! Also, I'll admit, it is kind of hard to be coherent and fact-checked, and I do like being... For, I'd like to say one thing, I do like being told I'm wrong, because it means I get to learn something. I'm one of those people. But it is also hard to fact-check and double-check things like that when streaming, so I apologize for that. I'm not trying to be combative at all. I'm actually enjoying this. Very much so, doggo. Yeah, but you said you're in... You, Well, you just said you got a degree in politics, so I'm proud of you, man. And yeah, I know you're in flight school now. You're a pilot. But what does you being in flight school have anything to do with this? No, I'm just trying to figure out why he brought up the flight school thing. That's all, bud. Because, yeah, I said military hardware. Yeah, I know I'm wrong on. That's why I said besides that. More barrels! I should probably just take a CD version of this. Yeah, do you want know to play that where they actually gave voices to Hagar? And it's a really bad voice. <laughs> like, it's not what you'd expect. I didn't realize you were in flight school, and I apologize for that. I thought you've already gotten your pilot license for the military. Oh, God damn it, stop doing that chest press. Still, congrats, bud. Oh, fun fact. Uh, did anyone ever see the guy who had like six doctorates on who are you smarter than a fifth grader? I'm just going to I'm just trying to point out something in life is that there was a guy who had a multiple doctorates who was on you are, do you, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And it was proven that in many ways he is not smarter than a fifth grader because superfluous knowledge that you get in fifth grade is not in your chosen career path. So a lot of a lot of history and geographic freaking answers and questions he couldn't answer. I do think he did well. I think he was like a major physicist or something like that. See, now, I'm going to say this trench bound, and I really don't know how the military works in this way. I thought you were still trying to get your biology degree while in, while being an, air, uh, an army pilot, so I apologize there. I thought you were going to college for your biology degree while you're enlisted, so... Any plans for becoming an officer? Ah, I thought you were still in it, so I apologize. And no, dude, I'm not, like I said, it wasn't wrong, and there, there are times where I've been misinformed where I read the wrong thing. Shit happens. I don't know, that's my problem. I really do need to learn how to stop harping.
I had no clue because you felt like it. Because you just felt like changing your character. And Simmons. Simons. Bye bye. Yeah, I still like you, man. You're awesome. And thank you for being awesome. Oh, fuck. I forgot I could do that. Fucking pile driver, man. Awful lot of the same guy. Awful lot of the same guy. Elgato. Let's just go throw knives at him. Fuck him. No worries, Kaneko. No worries. Don't forget to tip your host on the way out. It would really help me out right now. Oh, yeah. Delicious orange. You know, you gotta stave off the scurvy. So my question is, is do you find Final Fight better than the Streets of Rage series? And I think Streets of Rage might be the better series. After playing through this again. Like, this has a lot of quality and graphics to it, but Streets of Rage had more personality and character. And here's Abigail, for those wondering where his entrance was. This is that big guy who was going broom, broom in Final Fantasy V, Final Fantasy V, Street Fighter V. He's a, a unique, well, he's not a unique strike, sprite. He just has a unique head on his sprite. So semi-unique, modified, heavily modified. With his own animations. Christ. This was made to eat your fucking quarters, man. That's a beat em up. These are all beat em ups, not fighting games. And River City Ransom Girls, fuck yeah, I'm gonna be playing the shit out of that, baby. For those who don't know, there's a sequel to River City. There's a bunch of city River City Ransom sequels for beat-em-ups. Fight and Rage and a bunch of other ones. Hells yeah! We're at the end of this area. 
I like the fact that the, all the one ways are going away from me. The longest hallway in history. Hammer. Why can't we use the hammer as a weapon? I've always wondered, how do people 1cc this? Is it even possible? And that looks like Kinshiro. Now, we bring up the fact that we didn't want M. Bison suing, uh, uh, Mike Tyson suing for M. Bison, but how did Andre the Giant not sue for this? Wait, when did Andre the Giant die? Seriously, when did Andre die? Anyone know? In fact, with the name Andore, it's even worse. Going up. Still going up. Still going up. Yep, I plan to play that. I think Kami wants to play it with me. Sorry, Poison. Sorry, Roxy. You're getting your all... Hey, Jay. Hey, two penises. Well, his name was 2P. And Mortiste, I don't know what's wrong with me, and I don't know if it's just because I've played so many RPGs over the years, but I both love and hate Octopath Traveler. I keep trying to get into it, and I can't. Like, I've gotten si uh, six out of the eight characters, but at the same time, while I enjoy the combat, I the, the aesthetics of the game bug me. The fact that they paste the 8-bit over friggin' polygons. Like, I'm used to them doing that. Like, I've played a lot of 3D, pseudo 3D games like that, but there's just something about the styling, the graphics, and the gameplay that just isn't hooking me. And it's bugging me that am I just not into his RPGs like I was in my teens? Because God knows, next, like, I played through uh, the Nino Kune series last year and Dragon Quest X, or XI, and God knows next week I'll be playing Grandia. God damn, I'll be playing all the Grandias. Fuck yeah, Grandia's coming back. For those who have a Switch, Grandia 1 and 2 are being re-released on the system in an HD upgrade. Same game, new translation. So hopefully we don't have that coffee bullshit anymore. For those who don't know, in the original translation, they changed it to coffee houses instead of uh, bars and cafes. Because they thought that would be better on the American Super... Yeah. Because it was translated by goddamn Sony originally. Maybe it's because I'm just not being hooked by the plot, since it's eight different plot threads at the same time. Instead of one unifying plot. or unified goal. That could easily be it. Instead of the plot actually hooking me, the fact that you have six or eight different stories that all combine into one.
Because as I said, back in the day, I played every PlayStation, every Super Nintendo, Saturn, etc., etc., RPG that was released in America. Not the Genesis, though. I sadly have not played through this Fantasy Star series. I've been trying to. I just can't get into two. And once again, clarification, I didn't get through Sakodin because it, my memory card broke and I lost my save at the end of the game. And I never found a copy of Sakodin 2. Until recently. But then after the PlayStation era, I just could not play RPGs anymore. Unless they really hooked me. Grandia 3 really hooked me. Final Fantasy 11, uh, 12 did. I did not like 10. Also didn't like Final Fantasy 8, but that's a personal opinion. As for modern RPGs, I, I hate to say this, I didn't like fucking... Bravely default. And a lot of people are, a lot of purists are looking at me like I'm crazy for not liking it. And that's just because I felt like the combat system in that game was more about breaking it instead of using the tools you have. It was basically all skill checks like, oh, sorry, do you have this ability? Do you have this ability? Uh, you do know that the entire thing is about breaking our skill system by cheating around everything. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, I did beat it with a good ending, and the en this special ending where you break the thing beforehand. Yeah, this is way too many enemies for a single character to fight. They want my quarters. But they can't have them, because I'm not giving them quarters! Ha ha ha! This is a ROM, dammit! It's a ROM created by Capcom! It's a Cap ROM! Okay, that was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. And yes, this better be the final door, is it? Cause this is getting real fucking ridiculous. It is beautiful up here, though. Oh no! Fuck yeah! Where are they getting so many thugs, anyways? And this is one hell of a gang in a posh building. You'd think you wouldn't want all these thugs in your posh building. Yeah, but apparently they do. Yeah, check that out. And you guys kind of burned yourself. Nice move, boys. But yeah, uh, yeah. Hey Yoshi, what's up? What about the Yakuza games, huh? That the thought that 
You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more true than you think. And Yakuza actually do run a lot of legitimate businesses in Japan where they would run actual large buildings like this. I wish I were... I'm, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. I really do need to play the Yakuza. I've never played one. The closest I played was Fist of the North Star last year, which was... Eh, okay. <laughs> Look at this guy! And he's using a goddamn crossbow! I don't think a crossbow's rapid fire. I, I, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but crossbows usually aren't rapid fire. I own Yakuza Zero. In fact, I think I own uh, that and six. I just haven't played them yet. Fun fact: Goro was originally play going to be played and was played on the PlayStation Two version by Mark Hamill. Yeah! Oh, Father, I was so scared. I'm glad to see they didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry, Jessica. I thought I'd lost you like I lost your mother. I'll never let anything bad happen to you. Again. <sighs> ah, so much fun here. Why are these two the ones walking away? <laughs> Cody! What? The fuck was that? <laughs> what the living fuck? Where are you going? How can you just walk away now? I want to stay here with you, Jessica, but I can't. Not while evil still stalks the streets. Oh, Cody! End. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And if you want the donation for my time, please go into the video, click the donate button, leave whatever the fuck you think I'm worth. I still need to make thirty dollars to pay off my bill my bill right now. You can also send bits and subscribe, so get your free for Transform Prime or five dollars each. Please join us tomorrow at six PM Eastern Standard Time for Demon Souls. Have a great night, people. Sweet dreams, all good bed. I'll be up for a bit longer being a good total idiot. Good night all. <laughs>